So welcome, Ryan. Uh, welcome to the YouTube channel. Um, today, Ryan is going to be going over his nature photography gear. I'm yes. just going to ask him a couple questions. You know, nothing technical, just kind of creatively how he uses his items. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, so Ryan, let's go ahead and uh, look at your main camera body. So for all of my outdoor photography, um, I use primarily right now a Canon EOS 80D. It is a APS-C crop sensor body. Um, I use it for lots of different things like wildlife. Um, whenever I attach a telephoto lens to it, that means it's going to magnify uh, the ratio of the focal length with it, of course. Um, but this is even a great camera body for doing video work as it has a flip out touch screen on there as well. Um, and it's just overall just really nice. Um, use it for landscapes, uh, macro, um, just pretty much a little bit of everything, honestly. Um, right now I have a lens that's on loan for me right now. It's a Laowa uh, 14 millimeter, zero uh, D, that's zero distortion, uh, a wide angle lens that is. And it is a manual focus, uh, which is something a little bit different for me, of course, too. Um, but yeah, so far really enjoying those two. Um, here's an OEM brand. It's it's Canon official uh, battery grip that I keep on here vertically, uh, which is really helpful uh, to store two batteries onto there as well. Uh, give you twice the battery life and allows you to do a more vertical driven uh, compositions or anything as you grip the camera. Um, and then I got a, a three-legged thing, uh, l brick on there as well. Um, so that's pretty much it for that. Um, I also use a Gitso Systematic. It's a extra long edition four section uh, tripod with a Kirk BH3 uh, ball head on there as well. Um, this is really, really sturdy. Um, it does cost quite a bit for both of those uh, pieces of gear, it's, um, but it's really worth it, I would say, honestly. Um, for any video work, any uh, kind of voiceover, any uh, stuff in the field, uh, field recordings, I use a Zoom uh, four track audio recorder. Um, these are really nice and handy um, just for just getting nice high quality stereo uh, sounding audio as well. And so as we open my bag here, um, which is the S-Stop Talofa uh, 50 liter, I have a large pro ICU in there as well, um, which you know houses pretty much most of my gear. Um, I got a 16 to 35 Canon uh, F4. Um, so this is a great lens. I use it for lots of landscapes and um, just everything in between. Um, so this is an awesome lens as well. Uh, but I use Hoya filters and that has a polarizer, uh, circular polarizer as well in there. I uh, got various other filters in there as well. It's nothing too special, um, but I do have a few filter, filter pouches um, that come in various sizes that fit all my different lenses with me. Um, so those are all in there. And then I have a few lens pouches and each one has, houses a lens or two. Um, this, this big lens pouch has a 75 to 300 on there. Um, and this is a nice zoom lens. I've had this for pretty much forever, ever since I started photography. Um, it's been an awesome lens and I'm still using it to this day. Um, we'd like to upgrade someday, but you know, it still works pretty great for what it is. And this other lens pouch, I have other, uh, just miscellaneous. I have some extension tube. This is where all my macro work um, actually gets done basically. Uh, it's a 25 millimeter extension tube from Canon. Um, this one's awesome. Um, it does pretty much all my macro photography. Uh, I have a hooded loop. This is nice in sunny days where you can, um, if it's like a bright sunny day and you're trying to do some macro or get down on the ground level, this thing goes over top of your, your uh, LCD on your back of your screen there and allows you to really just look through it and uh, see more closely the sharpness, the details of it. And it comes with this nice lanyard can lace over yourself so this thing's pretty nice um i think other than that just got a few random pouches uh this has a it's a pretty cheap wide angle lens at that but it's a 24 millimeter canon uh, efs lens um, they call us a pancake lens because it's just super small and portable uh but for what's worth and the focal length it comes at you know it's really worthwhile uh, I got a Tamron uh, what is this <laughs> I actually don't know because I don't use it often a 1.4 times teleconverter uh, from Tamron, like I said. Um, I don't use this too often either, but you know, it's just nice to have, I guess, in a pinch uh, where I don't want to carry my larger telephoto lens with me. So I got all those. Um, not too much else really with it. Um, I have a nearer intervalometer. Um, that's good for astro or any kind of, uh, you know, nighttime or any really, really long exposures that I would like to do. Uh, I got a lav mic that goes, that can plug into via aux into the audio recorder as well. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, I got a hydration reservoir in there um, and just various little, just, I guess, things like, you know, SD cards, um, got a couple of field guides, you know, stuff like that. So, I mean, there's really not too much else, but like I said, it all fits very conveniently in this 50 liter bag. Um, so, 
So yeah. yeah. So thank you to Ryan for coming on. He's got some great gear here and he's taking some great images with it. Um, first of all, I want to say check out all his socials. They'll be down below as well as our group podcast. Collaborative cool. podcast called the All Outdoors Photography yep. Podcast. Uh -huh. um, yep. Uh -oh. so. We're making some great content out here. Um, so more stuff to come. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Thank you.